Hello, I'm Wendy from 3D Worldwide. In this video, we will learn how to add a depth of field effect to our camera. The depth of field creates an effect of focusing on one object while the rest of the scene appears blurry. In the scene setup, we will learn how to add a couple of lights, apply materials, and how to precisely position a camera into our perspective viewport. First of all, let's go to Customize, Unit Setup, and here in Display Unit Scale, we're going to select Metric, Centimeters, then OK. Also, we'll be using the Mental Ray Renderer for this video, so let's go to Rendering, Renderer Setup, and here in Common, we'll scroll down to the bottom, Assign Renderer, and in Production, we're going to choose the Mental Ray Renderer. We can just choose it here from this list. Then OK. I already have it assigned, so I'm just going to close my renderer. We are just going to create a simple scene for this video. So let's go to the Create panel, Geometry, Standard Primitives. We're going to choose a plane and just drag it out here in the top viewport. Don't worry about the size. We're going to go over now to the Modify panel. And we're just going to type in here under the parameters the length. 1,000 centimeters, width 1,000 centimeters, length segments will set to 1, and width segments also will set to 1. With the Select and Move, move tool, we can just go down here and right click on the bottom dials here and center our object. We are going to rotate this plane to create a copy. So to do this, first turn on the angle snap toggle here on the main toolbar. Select the select and rotate tool. We want to rotate our plane 90 degrees. We can control that down here on our X axis. So let's go back to the top viewport. Hold the shift key down on the keyboard and we're going to drag the tool down until it reaches 90 degrees. There we are. Then we're going to say copy in the clone options. Let's use the select and move tool to position it to the back of our other plane. We can go back into the Modify uh, panel and we'll just change the length to 500 and we're just going to bring it down. We don't need it that high. There we are. Let's click in the top viewport, press Alt W on the keyboard to maximize it and now we're going to create the sphere. So we'll go back to the Create panel, Geometry, Standard Primitives and Sphere. Let's drag out our sphere here, right in the center, but near the first edge. Don't worry about the size, we're going to go back into the Modify panel. We'll set the radius to 25 centimeters, and we're just going to leave the segments at 32. Let's take a look at the position of our sphere. Press Alt W on the keyboard. Let's just zoom into the front viewport. And we need to bring our sphere up so it is sitting on top of the plane. Just there, something like that. Okay, we can see that. There we are. Now let's press Alt W again and we'll go back to the top viewport. Let's create some copies. To do that, let's hold the Shift key down on the keyboard and we're just going to drag the sphere along the Y axis. Not too far, something like that. The number of copies, we're just going to type in 7, then OK. Press Alt W on the keyboard. Click here in the Perspective viewport. Click on Realistic and from the menu, select Edged Faces. This will enable us to see all the subdivisions. OK, now we're going to add a light. Go over to the Create panel, Light. Standard, 
we're going to select the skylight first and we're just going to place the skylight anywhere in a perspective viewport we'll go back over to the skylight parameters multiplier we're just going to drop it down we'll just bring it down here to something like 0 0.3 there something like that next we're going to add an omni light let's just go over here to the top viewport and we're just going to place our light here near our first sphere with the select and move tool here in the perspective viewport we can just drag it up let's go to the modify panel in the general parameters we're going to turn on shadows we're going to select ray traced shadows intensity color and attenuation we're going to bring the multiplier down to 0 0.4 now our scene is ready all we need to do is apply some material and add a camera select the material editor from the main toolbar or just press M on the keyboard We are going to create the material for the spheres first, so right click anywhere here in view 1, materials, mental ray material, and we're going to choose an arch and design material. Double click on the material to open the main material parameters, then here in the diffuse color, we're just going to select a nice pale blue. something like that. We can rename this material, we just call it ball. We can use the select by name tool to select all the spheres in the scene. Let's go to the main toolbar, click on select by name, then from the dialog click on the first sphere, hold the control key down and we'll select all the others. There should be eight spheres, then OK. Let's just have a little look at our scene. There we are. We can see we have them all selected. Now go to Assign Material to Selection and Show Shaded Material in Viewport. There we are. Let's create the material for the ground. We're just going to use a standard material. Right click, materials, standard and standard. Double click on the material to open the main parameters. Here in the diffuse color, we're just going to pick like a bluey gray. There we are, just maybe something like that. That looks fine. Let's just grab hold of the material here and we'll drag it over to our plane. Now we can create the material for our back wall. Another standard material. Double click. And here in the diffuse color, we can select the same blue as the sphere. So let's get the eyedropper and let's just click on the sphere. There we are, you can see we have the same blue. Let's say OK. We'll just close this a little bit. Oh no, there we are. We can see the wall from here. We'll select it first and then we'll drag the material over. There we are. Let's close the material editor. Now here in the perspective viewport, we can just use our zoom. and the pan tool. And let's just position it. You might just have to turn it slightly to the side. Maybe just something like that. That looks fine. We'll zoom in a bit more.
we can tilt it we're just trying to find that angle that we're looking for maybe something like that use the pan tool to bring it down turn it round let's select the back plane and let's just bring the width up a bit more we can also do the same on the bottom plane we'll just select it here in the perspective viewport and we can also bring that up a wee bit too when we're happy with the perspective view let's just go to views create camera from viewport now our perspective viewport is camera one let's just right click on, on camera one and choose show save frames that was a quick and easy way to add a camera to the scene let's do a quick render here we are now you can see our scene okay let's go and add the depth of field make sure our camera is selected let's scroll down the parameters uh, multi pass effect we'll turn that on now we're going to choose depth of field mental ray as we're using the mental ray renderer render effects per pass we'll turn that on the target distance will actually show you what will be in focus if you look at the top viewport you can see how the target is moving in and out look at that as I'm bringing the dial up and down we're just going to play around with that until we get the the exact um, scene that you want to see the exact view let's just go over here to the depth of field parameters the f-stop this controls the blurriness in the rest of the scene let's bring it down to something like 0 0.7 With the select the move tool we can also position our camera we can also use the tools at the bottom of the screen we've got the dolly camera orbit camera truck camera let's just orbit around Now we can use the dolly camera to zoom in and out. Okay, let's do a final render. I'll just turn the video off while it's rendering. And here's our result. We have a blurry background and this sphere here is the one that's in focus. Thank you for watching. I hope you can find this video useful. Enjoy.